Hi, my name is Franklin Cruz, and I want to tell you a story about me. I was born in New York City, and being raised in New York City, I was a prodigal of a single mom, um, who my mom's name is Nancy. And being raised in New York, you know, it's, it's always cool. You always see these huge buildings, and you're always curious how, how these big buildings are, are built. And my mom always used to tell me, she said, one day, you're going to have one of those buildings. She would always say that you're the number one in this world, you're always going to be something in life. And I've always strived to, to do the best for my mother. And at a young age, I was diagnosed with SLD. And if you don't know what SLD is, it's, it's slow learning disability. And a lot of kids would make fun of me because I would have to go into the slow class uh, with the class with the kids running around all fast. And, and that's what I had to deal with as a young kid not always being the smartest, always good at sports, but just wasn't always there. And my mom always kept on motivating me, you're gonna be something, don't worry about it, and I know you can beat this. So when I was nine years old, I uh, moved down to Florida. Uh, I started playing baseball right off the back. I was, I was uh, I'm left-handed, and I just did really well playing baseball. I thought I was gonna be a baseball player my whole life, actually. Uh, they didn't need to do anything else. And my mom definitely always told me that that's what I was going to be. <laughs> I wasn't going to do anything else except play baseball. So my mom actually got a, she, she was in a relationship uh, and she got pregnant uh, from, at the time she got married real quickly. She, she got pregnant with my baby brother, Jordan. And right the same week that, uh, that she was giving birth to Jordan. Uh, I had a huge little league baseball tournament. And we all know when you play a baseball tournament, that's all that matters in this world is baseball tournaments. And so we actually won the tournament. And that night, I got a, a phone call from my dad. Now, this is probably a week after Jordan's, Jordan was born. So Jordan's born, he's, everything's OK. Uh, my mom was doing fine. And we won the tournament. I mean, how much better of a week can you get? You, you can't get any better. And I got a phone call, and my dad, or I believe it was my dad, or the hospital called to say, Hey, are you coming down to the hospital? I said, Yeah, it was a normal thing going down to the hospital. And when I got there, I actually found out, uh, I found out that my mom actually passed. And my whole world. whole world changed from having somebody in your life who's your best friend the only person that you care about the only person that you could ever talk to and then know that person passed it kind of just it drops you um also, I, I didn't know my biological father. So because I didn't know my biological father, I didn't know what was going to happen to me. And my mom, when she got married, um, who I call my father, Eli Cruz, he said he would adopt me. And he took me in. So my biological name, even though it's a cool name, is not Franklin Cruz. When my mom passed, that that was it was very hard for me. You know, to be honest with you, I, I went through a lot of depression for many years. I, I was still in SLD, uh, slow learning disability. I I didn't want to do anything anymore for a while, and it just hit me in a whole different pretense that my whole life was around my mother. But my mom always would tell me that she wanted me to be more in this world. She wanted more than what she had to go through. She wanted the best for me. Uh, that's why she worked all those jobs. 
So in 11th grade, I decided I wanted to join the military. And so the first thing I did is I went to my guidance counselor. And I said, look, what do I need to do to graduate? And she's like, well, frankly, you're going to graduate you know, with a special diploma. I said, fine. You know, no big deal. So she said, talk to you. I'm going to talk to my recruiter. And when I talked to the recruiter, he said, look, we don't take anybody with special diplomas. He said, talk to your guidance counselor. So when I talked to her, she said, Franklin, the only way that you're going to be able to graduate is you're going to have to take three extra courses after school. I had to work in between that. And then I had to take some uh, night school four days out the week. Add that to my summer school, summer night school. Then my 12th grade year, I had to do the exact same thing on top of working. One thing I can't say is I beat it. And I beat SLD. So I graduated out of high school and I joined the military for seven and a half years I was part of one of the greatest uh, services there is the United States Army uh, and just one of the greatest military forces and I went to Korea served in Operation Iraqi Freedom uh, served all over the Middle East and just really enjoyed it and then I discovered real estate part-time while I was in the military and my first deal I ever did I I actually lost my life savings, and at the time it was $14,000. And I never forget that day because it was my first day of being extremely motivated to get that money back and make a profit. And I would have to say, through those trials and tribulations of, of being a failure, of, you know, I have been through foreclosures before. I know how that feels. I know the stress. I have a family. I have two beautiful, beautiful boys and hopefully one day a, a baby girl. And I just know that feeling how to cry sideways and lay on the floor and, and feel like you're worth nothing. There's more out there in life and you're not doing what was truly meant for you to do. And with that, I learned so much because I learned that, you know what, there's more out there. And if I just don't quit, I know I can make it. And I know I can do that. So that's one thing I've learned in life. And I would want to end it to say that to my mom. That I, I know that you're watching this from heaven. And I love you very, very much. And I just hope this is making you proud. And I've discovered that I am Franklin Cruz, the real estate drill sergeant.